Hello friends. In the previous video, we saw how to find the value of square root of 2 geometrically. The method was to draw a square with 1 cm side. That way the diagonal will be square root of 1 square plus 1 square which is square root of 2. To find the value of square root of 3, we took help of Pythagoras theorem. Like for square root of 3, we draw a right angle triangle with square root 2 as the base and 1 as the height. Then hypotenuse will be square root of 3 because square root of 3 whole square is equal to square root of 2 squ square plus 1 square. This is what we learnt in our earlier video. Now can you find the value of square root of 9.3 that way? That is root of a decimal number? Is it even present of number line? Let us see. If we break down 9.3 9.3 is 9 plus 0.3. So square root of 9.3 is equal to square root of 9 plus 0.3. Now 9 can be written as 3 square and 0.3 can be written as square of square root of 0.3. So that way we can write square root of 9.3 is equal to square root of in the entire bracket 3 square plus square root of 0.3 square. So length of perpendicular or base has to be square root of 0.3 which is very hard to achieve. We learned how to find square root of a natural number in last video. There is another way to find the value of square root of a decimal number. The nearest perfect square numbers of 9.3 are 9 and 16. That is 9 is less than 9.3 is less than 16. Now taking square root becomes 3 is less than square root of 9.3 is less than square root of 16 which is 4. So square root of 9.3 lies between 3 and 4. Let us draw on the number line. We take a line which is at least 4 cm longer than 9.3 whose square root we need to find. Now we mark point B so that AB is equal to 9.3 cm. We take point C 1 cm away from B on the opposite side of A such that BC is equal to 1 cm. So AC would be 9.3 plus 1 cm. Now we find the midpoint of AC. We know how to do that. Take a measurement more than half of AC. Put needle on compass on C and draw arc on both sides of AC. Now we put the needle on A. Draw an arc on both sides of AC such that it intersects the previous arc. If we join these two points, we get a perpendicular bisector of AC. So this O is the midpoint of AC. And it will be OC will be equal to 9.3 plus 1 by 2. We take the measurement of OC and draw a semicircle with center O. We draw a perpendicular on B such that it intersects the semicircle at point D. Here, this BD will be square root of 9.3. How? Look, OA or OD or OC is the radius of the circle which is we know 9.3 plus 1 by 2. So OB will be is e equal to 9.3 plus 1 by 2 minus 1 which is equal to 9.3 by 2 plus 1 by 2 minus 1 which is equal to 9.3 by 2 minus 1 by 2 or 9.3 minus 1 whole bracket by 2. And according to Pythagoras theorem in right angle triangle OBD, OD square is equal to OB square plus BD square or BD square is equal to OD square minus OB square. Replacing the values we will get BD square equal to 9.3 plus 1 by 2 whole square minus 9.3 minus 1 by 2 whole square or BD square equal to 9.3 plus 1 whole square by 4 
minus 9.3 minus 1 whole square by 4. We know a plus b whole square plus a minus b whole square is equal to 4ab. So applying that rule, we will get solution as 4 into 9.3 which is a into 1 by 4. So this 4, 4 gets cancelled which is equal to 9.3. Taking square root of both sides, BD will become square root of 9.3. This way we can find the length of any square root of a decimal number. That's all in this video children. Bye-bye.